This is a math class at Lopatcon Middle School. If you look here, it's never ending, okay? There is no end to that line whatsoever, all right? So is this. Math rocks here because three teachers add math lessons and classic rock and roll music, then count on the song sticking in students' heads when numbers and words on a page don't. It all started with fractions. Of course, I'm a Beatle fanatic, and I was listening to, and I was listening to Lady Madonna, and Lady Madonna, I said, and I, for some reason, fractions came into my mind. Fractions are so scary, and, and they were scary. And I, it just took off. Fractions aren't so scary. Let me tell you why. And if I think in mathematics of money and food, food and money, I mean, who doesn't like food? Who doesn't like money? So then the song came naturally. Fractions aren't so scary. Let me tell you why. I think that got the ball rolling. This Math Rocks assembly kicked off with the fraction song. Then there were songs about angles, calculators, prime and composite numbers. PowerPoint presentations help students follow song lyrics and math problems. Printouts of lyrics help students in the classroom. The PowerPoint seals the deal. Um, uh, the lessons are taught in the PowerPoint. Everything is basically done with, um, with the pictures and, and the words that are up there. And then um, there are some examples that we do work through and, and go through on the PowerPoint. When I was growing up, the math was so hard for me. And I tried and I tried and tried. And if there's another way to show it, a different way, um, a way, and there's a lot of kids that love music, so how about bringing in the math with the music and your basic concepts? The Math Rocks assemblies obviously stir students up and ramp up their energy level, but the proof that musical math works is in the classrooms. A lot of more kids in my class, they used to be shy and stuff during math, and they would never raise their hand or answer the question. And that changed a lot. A lot of people started answering things and getting things right and like raising their hand and helping kids in my other, like the other classes. That's a, a lot different than the other years. I've never been really good at math until this year when they started their songs. So I improved the math a lot. With my students, uh, we just completed a unit, a geometry unit involving angles. And for, for my type of, of student, it's hard for them to remember the technical words like acute, obtuse, and things like that. But when, when you put it in a song and give a rhythmic basis to it, and also like the, the memorization, you know, the melodic, the, the verse part and things like that, I think it, that it's a good reinforcement. Burkhall, Hank, and Lutz, whose group name is 2 Plus 1, have recorded a CD and want to perform at other schools. Math Rocks won't replace classroom instruction, but they know they've reached many students with it, and it will be a part of the curriculum, even if it becomes classic math only at La Pat Kong Middle School. Music itself is such a, a mathematical process I mean, when you look at it and you, when you think about its patterns, its relationships, you know, rhythms, harmonies, melodies, and things like that. It, it is so mathematical. I don't have written results. I see the results. I see it on their faces. I don't know if we can assess it right now, but I, you know what? I'm telling you right now, when some of these kids are 40 years old, they're going to remember these songs, and they're going to remember their, the math concepts, and they're going to tell their kids.